Welcome! Here I have a card. The card is made up of a rectangle, a triangle and a circle. The card has three layers. To create this card I start with a rectangle. This rectangle will form a layer and will be the bottom layer with all items being placed on top of this layer. I add a triangle. The triangle is a new layer and as the triangle sits above the bottom layer, the triangle becomes the top layer. It is important to consider the order of layers because if I move the layers into a different order by moving the triangle layer behind the rectangle, the triangle can no longer be viewed. Now this is obvious when looking at physical items, but perhaps not so obvious when looking at diagrams on a flat screen. I will come back to this point shortly. I would like to put my triangle back on top and onto my triangle, I wish to place the circle. The circle again sits in a separate layer and as I'm putting it on top of the triangle, the circle becomes the top layer with the triangle now becoming the middle layer and the rectangle still the bottom layer. Again, if I change the layer order to move the circle layer to sit behind the triangle layer, the circle layer can no longer be seen. And it looks like the card is made up only of a rectangle and a triangle. But we know that this is not the case. The triangle layer is merely obscuring the circle layer. The same logic with regards to the order of layers applies to data visualisations on a report or dashboard, for example, which a user is viewing on a flat screen. As the screen is flat, it's not quite so easy to view the build-up of layers. Consider this example. I have some text placed on top of an image. So the text has its own layer and the image has its own layer. To view the text, the text needs to be on the top layer. If I change the layer order and move the text below the image, the text disappears from view as it's obscured by the image in the top layer. So when preparing data reports, please think about the order of layers to ensure that nothing is accidentally obscured. I discuss more about layers and why they matter in this Power BI video, which creates one visualisation from two diagrams. And in this video, I demonstrate one way to locate diagrams in Power BI if layers have caused it to become hidden. I've put a link to these videos in this video's description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.